hey, I'd like to introduce a new Square One ALG program. Um, it's called Square One Opt version 2. It's based on the original Square One Opt by Yap Sherpais from like 2011. Uh, basically added a lot of new features um, and also added this graphical interface which you can use. Um, I'll show the graphical interface first. Basically there's a bunch of options and it also has a square one here. You can uh, use these buttons to move it around. You can also uh, click on pieces. If you click on two pieces of the same type it'll swap them and if you right click then it will change how much of a piece is defined. So you can search for algs with, let's say, only partial pieces. Um, you don't care which pieces they are as long as they're on the top, or you don't care as long as they're that type of piece, corner versus edge. So um, whenever you do anything, it will update this command line input. So let's do something like this. Here's the command line input. Copy it clipboard and paste it in in your favorite command prompt, and it will search for an alg that does this. Uh, by default, it's a solving alg, but you could also make a generator. And this one's actually taking a while, so let me just stop it, because it doesn't actually matter. So you can stop it with, like, Control-C, which is the, the typical way to stop things. Um, so I'm going to press Escape to reset this cube. Let's generate an aperm. Just to show, here's an aperm. Um, we can also do 2-gen, so let's make it an aperm that only does slice and U-moves. It's a lot longer, 12 slices and 25 total moves, um, but, you know, it should work. Uh, pseudo 2-gen is also kind of nice. That means that you can modify the D-slice uh, D up to one move, so like 30 degrees. Um, in this case, it's the same, but if we do something like this and make a parity alg, then we can still generate an alg, and actually this is impossible in just 2-gen, because we can only modify the front bottom edge and not the back one. Uh, we can also try to stay in cube shape, so let's do like an AU. And so this alg will stay in cube shape while doing this. And if you have a parity, it's impossible to stay in cube shape, and so it will say position can't be solved with these constraints. So uh, it has some error checking that will let you know you know, if you ask it to do something impossible, rather than just running forever, it will crash, or it will stop with this error. And we can also have car notation as an output. So it'll output this, this weird alg in car notation. Uh, and we can also, if, my, if you don't like your alg, you can generate all sequences of that length. So here's a whole bunch of them. Uh, we can also do suboptimal sequences. So let's do like one extra move. So these are 10, 24. Now here's a bunch of 25 move algs. Maybe one of these is nice. Uh, and as I said, there's there's partial things. So let's say like we don't care what edges there are. We just want in A corners and off on the bottom. And so then it will generate something that does that. So you could use this for like orientation, like OBLs or something. Um, and you can also say I don't care at all. So maybe you know I don't care at all about the top things as long as they're corners and edges in this particular shape. Um, obviously this is just going to be, yeah, it's just going to be a, one of these like op-op type things. And so it's, you know, it's generating a whole bunch of these. Um, the reason there are duplicates here is because car notation actually ignores AUF, so um, in this case, you know, it's generating a bunch of algs with different AUFs and connotation saying they're all just op-op. Makes sense. So yeah, um, hopefully this is useful for people, and uh, if you have any, any things you want me to add, if you find any bugs, please let me know, and I'll take a look. Thanks.